toxicity, and uh, machines are well known experts in the partial differential equations, potential theory, real analysis, regularity results, and uh, we are very happy to have her uh, here, and she will uh, tell us about problems and research terms of subspaces or functions related to species of PDS. So, please. First of all, thank you very much to the organizer and all the staff that uh, gave me the opportunity to be here. I'm very honored and happy to start this lesson. So thank you very much to, to the, the staff and, not, and to all of you. Uh, considering that this is a summer school, I prepared my lessons focusing the idea to give some uh, 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 concept for new researchers. So I show you the characteristics of some uh, special functional spaces and uh, why are used to other equations that probably you study. Because uh, are uh, so close to Lebesgue spaces, LP, so some properties are similar, can be replied, not all, and we will see that not all could be uh, replied, but are, uh, the give, gives uh, some uh, possibility to study the qualitative properties of solutions of PDE. So uh, the idea is to study this kind of functions. Um, I, st I start with the definition, then we will see some properties. Well, um, we start with the uh, definition. So what we will uh, transmit is the uh, opportunity to use this kind of spaces for some uh, um, um, uh, applications to uh, obtain regularity results of partial differential equations and systems having these continuous coefficients. So this is the main focus of these lessons. So the spaces are named more spaces. So we start to the definition, to the structure of this kind of classes. Let us consider p between 1 and infinite and lambda between 0 and n and f a real measurable function in an open bounded state omega contained in n, n is more or equal to. One is a little bit trivial, we suppose that more the, or equals 3. If P is summable in omega, as the set described is finished. So let us consider rho a quantity between uh, 0 and the diameter of omega, lambda between 0 and n, and let us consider this quantity here. So we said that uh, if rho is in the set 0 diameter of omega, I recall you that omega is a bounded open set, okay? It's bounded. So the diameter is a number. Rho is in the set 0 diameter of omega, x is in omega. We say that f belongs to the more class fp lambda if is find the following quantity, the supremum, if rho, if, if x is in omega, rho is between 0 and the diameter of omega, of 1 over rho with the span lambda, the integral in omega cap bx rho, of f p y dy. So, if this quantity is found, f is in f lambda. And because of we will uh, talk about some properties of this space, I prefer uh, to copy here the definition because of we recall continuously this class. Okay? This is the definition. If this quantity is found, and is in any p lambda. And the vector space naturally associated to the set of 
functions of Lp such that this quantity is finite and always with the norm that we have described here is a normal space and we will see later that is complete so it's normal and complete well why we say that this could be useful to the regularity results of solutions of PD? Because just an example, if we consider uh, non-divergent elliptic equations as this, where a i j x are coefficients that could be discontinuous, you there is respect to x i x j, so second order differential equation of elliptic type in non-divergent form, and f is a is a space that is in the Moray class LP lambda. We can have the second derivative of the solution U as some of, some of commutators, singular integral operators, and other terms, non singular integral operators, like this. So we can express the second derivative of the solution as a sum of a commutator of A and F, a singular integral operator, and some other vector terms. So if we estimate the norm of the second derivative, we obtain the regularity results. But the estimate of this is the estimate of each term. So we will arrive to study the estimate in the more class of commutators and singular integral operators. These terms are easier, some other lower order terms. Okay? So we will study some properties of this more class. And after that, the focus is the application of this to estimate the um, um, solutions, the second derivatives of the solutions of some equation, for instance, like this, because the, similarly we can have the uh, uh, derivative of the solution in the day of the divergence form equation, also for the parabolic equation, also for systems. There are a lot of applications of this kind of class and apply, thanks to this we obtain regularity of equations and systems also with so elliptic, parabolic, ultra parabolic equations and systems. So this class I encourage you to study, to try to apply to your equations because probably you can have some um, regularity results. So let us now study the properties of this Moray class. I say that this is a, a space that is normal and we will see complete. Why the exponent lambda is between 0 and n? Really, we can consider that it could be in a biggest range, but really the interesting cases are only this, because let us consider for instance, not only be lambda between 0 and n, but uh, in another kind, in, in the other part of uh, the real uh, number. For instance, if lambda is less or equals 0, we have that the definition of LP lambda is immediately seen that is uh, the same of LP. So it's not a useful case for us, it's not an interesting case. So lambda less or equals than zero is quite trivial because the theory of NLP is known. So let us consider lambda equals to m because lambda less or equals zero we obtain explicitly that is LP. Okay? If lambda is equals to m Applying the Lebesgue uh, differentiation theorem, we have that the limit if rho tends to zero of 1 over rho with exponent lambda equals n, so if we put here lambda equals n, we, uh, we have 
that is one over rho with exponent uh, rho with exponent n the inter in omega cap bx rho of n with exponent b that is equals to the limit if rho tends to zero of one over rho with exponent n the integral in b rho x of f that is nothing else than c f p so this is true for every Lebesgue point or equivalently almost everywhere in omega then what we have that in order that f is in lpn is necessary that f is bounded so it means that lpn is l infinity so once again it's not an interesting case if uh, lambda is equals n and if lambda is more than n what happens if lambda is more than n the set described in general is not upper bounded exceptionally if f is equal to zero so the unique element in the class is the constant uh, function f equals zero so this is the reason why we consider from now on lambda between zero and well so let's now give, uh, give a look at, to the nature of the set omega in general in literature see for instance the uh, celebrated book by Kufner, John and Fuji titled Functional Spaces that is uh, published in 1977 the authors talking about Moray spaces is that we suppose that the boundary is uh, satisfying a special condition that we will show now the condition is this one there exists a constant a more than uh, uh, 0 but less than 1 such that the measure of omega cap x rho is more or equals a times rho with exponent n this for every x in the boundary of omega what is the meaning of this uh, condition? Uh, we point out that a is independent of x and rho well this uh, condition is uh, verified uh, uh, and we will see uh, immediately the, the nature the meaning of it but if it's, uh, when it's verified we say that the open set omega satisfy assumption a we briefly in the future we'll see we we'll say that a, the, the, the set omega satisfy the assumption a what is the sense of this condition 1.1.3? The meaning is the following. Let us consider x in the boundary of omega. So, we have that uh, the measure of omega cap bx rho is more or equal a times rho n. But this is, of course, less or equal the measure of b rho x that is equals to a constant c times rho with exponent n so what we can see from this chain of inequalities that is positive the quantity a over cn this is less or equal the measure of omega bx rho times the measure of bx rho this is less or equal 1 for every x in the boundary of omega but if we analyze this fact we see that it means that the part of the sphere that belongs to omega has measure uniformly comparable to that one of the unisphere and what is the meaning of this when this comparison is true this is or conversely when is not true in general it's not true when the boundary has a cuspidal point so 
we consider from now on that the Z omega has not cuspid that point. So it's sufficiently smooth. Okay? So, for example, just uh, to explain, to better explain what mean that condition. Let us consider omega, the set of x in 0, 1, such that uh, y is between 0 and x squared. If we examine this, uh, that we, we know what is the figure of this quantity, we see that omega does not satisfy assumption A. Why? It is not satisfied because if we compare omega cap B rho centered in 0, 0 with the ball B rho centered in 0, 0, we have that in the um, um, upper part of the fraction we have the integral of x squared less or equal in 0 rho. And the bottom part is pi times rho square. This is nothing else than 1 over a constant, 3 pi, over uh, multiplicated by rho. This quantity tends to 0 if rho tends to 0. So the condition is not satisfied. And we know who is omega. Okay, so in this set omega, the condition A is not satisfied. Another example is this one. Omega is the set of x in 0, 1, such that y is between 0, x, not x squared, x. In this case, what we have, let us consider the comparison between omega cap the ball over the ball. Omega intersected with B rho centered in 0, 0, over the measure of B rho centered in 0, 0. This is greater or equals than in the bottom part we have as before pi times rho square and up we have the integral in zero rho tau d tau the integral in zero pi over four d theta this is equals to the constant one over a this is a constant so this quantity in the first member is more or equal 1 over a, is more or equal a fixed constant. So this doesn't tends to zero as the radius of the ball. Indeed, this example of set satisfy the A condition. Well, the usefulness of the A as a condition of the assumption 1.1.3 consists in the fact that in this case the Mori class LP lambda can be equivalently normal setting this quantity here instead of the measure of the ball we can consider or rho with exponent lambda we can equivalently consider the measure of omega cap b x rho with exponent lambda over n. It's clear why it is over n, because we have the measure of this quantity in. Well, so why I record this? Because, uh, um, uh, of course, this is easily verified. But someone here could have listened before the comparator spaces. And so it's 
is um, equivalent to the norm in this more class considering this so um, in um, just uh, for all uh, the people here Campanato um, in uh, the uh, study made in sistemi ellittici in forma di divergenza regolarità all'interno quaderni scuola normale superiore of Pisa in 80 or in the uh, book of Kufner, John and Fuji Function Spaces 77 describe this kind of class so it's possible to prove that the more spaces are isomorphic to the campanato spaces. In any case, we consider uh, in the future only more spaces. But for people that have listened some uh, regularity results in this campanato class, it is really a uh, comparison. So in the future, we will not treat the campanato spaces, but just to record that is a uh, really uh, useful comparison with the spaces and the theory, of course. So, from now on, we suppose that uh, the set omega satisfies the A condition, 1.1.3. So, we suppose that it will be true. So, let us now first consider the uh, basic proposition that, uh, in a, when we study a space we need to know. The space LP lambda for P between 1 and infinite and lambda between 0 and then with that norm is complete. So, to prove that uh, uh, the quantity is a norm, it's easy. Just to not uh, uh, consider something trivial, uh, everything could be uh, interesting in a school to obtain, to describe. So, it's easy, but we would like to stop for some minutes to, to talk about it. Given a vector space V over a subfield F of a complex number, such as all the complex numbers, or the real number, or rational numbers, a seminar of V is a function that uh, satisfies the following properties. First of all, if A is in capital F and U and V are in capital V, we have this, they are satisfied the two properties. One is the positive homogeneity or positive uh, scalability. P in AV is equal to the absolute value of A times PV. And second is the triangular inequality or subadditivity. A in U plus V is less or equal to PU, PU plus PV. A simple consequence of these two axioms positive homogeneity and triangle inequality is that P0 is equal to 0, thus we have the positivity. So PV is more or equal to 0. A norm is a seminar and always with the additional property that PV is equal to 0 if and only if V is the vector 0. So let's now prove the completeness. Let us consider U n that is a Cauchy sequence. Well, uh, in the uh, Moray class, what we have to prove is that it is convergent, convergent and convergent to a function that is in the Moray class LP lambda. Let us suppose that it is a Cauchy sequence. So, for every x in omega and every rho more than zero, what we have is that the integral in omega cap bx rho of un minus un with exponent b is less or equal 
If we multiply and divide by rho with exponent n, we have inside this quantity here the normal in LP lambda because we put rho with exponent lambda and multiplying by rho with exponent lambda we can majorize with the diameter with exponent lambda because rho is less than diameter so we put the exponent lambda and we can majorize with a with this quantity that is a constant okay so we have this inequality it follows that uh, the uh, sequence un if we see first and last member we have that this quantity is finished find the second member so what we have that this un is a Cauchy sequence in LP but LP is uh, um, uh, a complete space so exists a function u in LP such that un tends to u in LP what we have to prove that this u is in the subspace LP lambda if we prove that this, the sequence un converges to a function u in the space LP lambda we have proven the completeness okay so at the moment we have only that un is Cauchy in LP in the biggest class in the Lebesgue space LP but LP is complete so exists a function u in LP such that un minus u in LP norm tends to zero if n tends to infinity well, this uh, 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 is uh, such that for every epsilon more than zero exists me a uh, natural number such that if n is more than me, we have that the integral of in omega cap bx of u adding and subtracting u n in the, considering two separate integrals is less or equal than a constant that depends on p and the sum of these two quantities the integral in uh, b omega bx cap bx rho of u n minus u plus the integral in the same space of u n well now we have that because of the Cauchy as, uh, completeness of LP we have that this first terms is less than epsilon UN are functions that are in the more class LP lambda so this second term can be less or equal than a constant times rho with exponent lambda so if we look this we observe that c is such that uh, the, the quantity the normal view n in lp lambda is less or equal this constant so for the arbitrariness of the quantity epsilon we have that u is in lp lambda so what we obtain that the function u is in LP as big as space but precisely is in the more class LP lambda so the sequence un of functions in LP lambda converges to a function u that is in the same subspace of LP we are interested in the completeness of the uh, class LP lambda and we have finished because of using the fact that UN is a sequence uh, that is a Cauchy sequence in the space LP lambda 
we have that this quantity is less than epsilon for e for every n and m sufficiently big and using the convergence of the sequence un in the sense of up we have that is true what we uh, want to obtain so the more space are complete this is the first uh, important properties concerning these classes let's now give some examples of functions that belong to this class and also we will see examples where of functions that are not in this class just to better understand why a function is in L P lambda in LP but not LP lambda. LP is the biggest class. LP lambda is inside. And we will uh, show examples of functions that are in LP but not in LP lambda and the properties that are positive and negative to be in this uh, subspace. Let us now start with an example of function in LP lambda. Example 1. Let us consider omega tilde, a bounded space, a bounded set, that is in LK. K, not N. We will use N, OK? LK. So, let us consider also U tilde in LP omega tilde, in this subspace over K. And let us consider this as a restriction of a function that is in Rn. Precisely set uxy equals to u tilde x. Almost everywhere in omega tilde for every y in Rn. So we have that this part x is in Rk and the other coordinates are belonging to this part, uh, Rm. So the function u, this function here, is defined in Rk times Rm. Okay? Well, we consider b rho prime in a uh, fixed point x0, y0 contained in Rn so we define Rn as the product of Rk times Rn well, the first of the x0 is in omega tilde and y0 is in Rn ok, so we consider as a sort of restriction u tilde. Well, for every rho more than zero, let us consider the integral of this uh, function u. u with exponent p. Of course, u is of the variables x and y. Okay? Let us consider the integral of this function u is the set on b rho prime cap omega times rm okay before we say omega cap bx rho now is this new set this is less or equal if we consider to multiply and divide by rho to this point m what we have u Look, u is u tilde. Okay? So we consider that this is the integral in u tilde. But what is the new set? Omega cap b tilde. Because in our m, we have considered this as a constant and we have times rho m. Well, this is less or equal the constant rho with exponent m and the norm of u tilde in LP related to the all the set omega we can majorize the integral
lettering omega tilde cap v rho with the integral e omega tilde and then we have this quantity in the last member here ok well we point out that we consider b rho that is the k dimensional ball centered in x0 having radius rho before we call b prime rho ok in all the set rm well then if omega prime is in an n a bounded open set we have that the normal view in LPM omega prime is less or equal the constant Cm times the norm of U tilde in LP omega tilde what means this inequality? this is a constant so U belongs to this class LPM omega prime ok? so we show it the, uh, the first example of function u in the Mori class consider it as a restriction of a function in a, in a smallest dimension part another example put in evidence a negative property of the Mori spaces Precisely what we consider is that uh, is not uh, true an extra integrability. If a function is in a class LP, lambda could not be in an extra, not extra LP lambda, extra LP. That is more than what I said before. Precisely, let us consider just uh, for instance, to consider a function u, um, u belonging to the Sobolev space W1P0, P between 1 and n, just uh, we suppose this. So, by definition, we have that u is in a P. However, thanks to the embedding theorem by Sobolev, we can say more about this function u so we have precisely that u is in n p star p star more than n more than p the extra integrability is satisfied in the more spaces this is not true instead a similar phenomenon does not occur in the framework of the more spaces indeed in general functions of LP lambda does not possess this property that is possible that u is in LP lambda but u is not in Q for every Q greater than P so we have to take in, in mind these negative properties property. if u is in LP lambda it's possible that it's not in every LP for every P of Q more than P so if the exponent here is more than the Lebesgue exponent we say this and Lebesgue exponent this is the Morley exponent okay? so it's possible that it's not in any uh, Lebesgue exponent with Q more than P. Let P more than 1 and U tilde x1 this function in variable 1. Let us consider U tilde x1 in <coughs> the interval minus 1 over 2, 1 over 2 as follows 1 over the following quantity with exponent 1 over 2 equals to the, 
values of x1, the absolute values, times log of x1 in, in absolute value with respect to the square log. Okay? This function could be considered as a part of a function defined in a big space. So we define ux as u with values x1, x2, and the last one xn. Let us consider this as u tilde x1, the restriction in one dimension 1. Every xi is between minus 1 over 2, 1 over 2. So for every y between 1 and n. This function u belongs for what we proved in the first example in Lp n minus 1. Remember that in example 1 we have Lp m. Now with the exponent n minus 1, the more exponent n minus 1. So this function u is in Lp n minus 1, where Omega is the product of the intervals minus 1 over 2, 1 over 2 in each dimension. So minus 1 over 2, 1 over 2 times n, uh, um, n times. Okay, so omega is this one. Well, we can see for the definition of the function u tilde, that this function is not in every LQ if Q is more than P. So, we have proved with this example that a, a function that is in a more class has not extra integrability. Well, now, before the uh, interval, I would like to show you a third example of function and, and another negative property of function that are in the Morley class. The, this is uh, uh, the following. The distance between a function f that is in a Morley space and p lambda it is positive between f in LP lambda and L infinity. So, what we have there, moreover, the, the, the cutoff related to a function f that belongs to a more space are not convergent in LP lambda norm to the function f. This is something that in LP is not true. So this is a new property. Let us consider this remark. Let us, uh, uh, just an example, a simple example, we have the function 1 over the absolute value of x. Of course, x different to 0. This function is in the more class L1 n minus 1 considered in the set that is the ball centered in 0 with radius r for a generic r more than 0. So we have that this function is in the more class L1 n minus 1. But we observe that if rho is between 0 and r, what we obtain is what follows. Let us start with 1 over n rho with exponent n minus 1 here. The integral in b 0 r of the function 1 over the measure, 1 over the absolute value of x. This could be write as follows a constant 1 over rho with exponent n minus 1 the integral in 0 rho of r with exponent n minus 1 over r. This is equal 
to Cn. So let us examine this chain of equality. We have that the constant C n more than zero is equal to this. But this quantity that we, for instance, call eta rho is equal to eta r for all r more than zero. And if r tends to zero, we have that the limit, if r tends to zero, eta r is exactly the same constant c m. So, is uh, not zero, is more than zero. That is, u is in L, in the more class L, n minus 1, but on the contrary of what happens in the space Lp, the norm does not tend to zero, is not infinitesimal when tends to zero, the measure of the set. Well, this is another property uh, that characterizes the Morey class. And these are different respect to the Lebesgue spaces. We take into account this fact because when we can consider the belonging of a sequence to a Cauchy uh, the, um, class, we have the, this property could not help us as in the Lebesgue spaces. So uh, this is a, a negative fact, but it's true. Let us prove now a characterization of the Morey spaces. This characterization could be or is true only in dimension one. I encourage you to study this and try if it's true or, or false in dimension more than one. The characterization is the following one. So this is the first theorem we have. Let us consider P between 1 and infinity. Of course, we can consider also here the case where P is equal to 1. Simply we have the integral of F in Lp. So sometimes we uh, can include the case uh, less interesting P equals 1. More interesting is P more than 1. But of course, we can uh, have the, the definition is true. For uh, also for p equals one. Well, let us consider p between one and infinity. U, a function in L p in dimension one. So we consider that the set omega is the open interval a b. X zero is a number in this interval, and lambda that is between zero and the dimension n in this case is between 0 and 1. Then the characterization of the Morey space is the following. U is in the Morey class at P lambda, maybe, if and only if the integral function here the integral between x0 and x of the absolute value of u with variable t with exponent p dt belongs to the Helder class L0 lambda. Of course, also this in AP. So if u is in the Morey class, this integral is a Helder function. And if this property is true, u is in the class. So we will prove it starting from the case that we suppose that u is in LP lambda. Well, let us suppose that u is in LP lambda AP. Because of we would like to prove the head continuity, we consider x1, x2, to 
numbers in the interval a p. So what we have that if we consider this function here in x1 times the same in x2, we have to prove that this uh, um, uh, through the help the continuity. And we start in this way. So let us consider the absolute value of the integral of this function put in here x1 and we have this first function less the same put in here x2 okay of course this quantity here could be right as the absolute value of the integral between x1 and x2 of u with exponent p. Uh, of course, this is not uh, um, correct. So, what we can ma uh, uh, majorize with a constant c and why we have here the norm of u in LP lambda. In general, we have at first the the, the, the and p to arrive to the more class we multiply and divide to rho lambda and the upper part is less or equal to the diameter because omega is bounded and so we have one over the quantity rho with the square lambda and the upper part is part of the constant now we multiply and divide with uh, rho with exponent lambda, but this rho is less than the diameter. The, uh, so we consider x1 minus x2, but this is not a problem because, uh, oh, not a problem, but it's the important part to obtain the health of continuity because this part here is a constant because we start from the case that u is in the model class. Here, this is our assumption. This means that exactly that this gray part is phi finite. So we have the constant, what is, uh, so we can consider this as a part of the constant C. We have a constant times the absolute value of x1 minus x2 with exponent lambda. What we have proved is exactly that the quantity integral in x0, x of u in absolute value with exponent p is hence a continuous. So we obtain the first part of the proof. The second part consider this this as the assumption. If we have this, we have to prove that u is in the more class. The method could be this one. If we have that the integral in x0 x of u with values t with exponent p is in held class for every sub interval alpha beta contained in a b we have the, the integral in alpha beta of u in absolute value with exponent p is equal to the integral in x0 alpha of u with exponent p minus the integral in x0 beta we force this uh, um, integral to be similar to our assumption of course okay because we consider do you remember here we consider a sub interval of the uh, space that in one dimension is the interval AB. So this is everyone contained here in the in the 
the final set A B. This could be considered trivially less or equal a constant C times alpha minus beta with exponent lambda. Why? Because we have the assumption of Helder continuity. So by the definition of this function here in C0 lambda alpha beta, we have that this is less or equal a constant C times the absolute value of alpha minus beta with exponent lambda. So, now what we have obtained is that if we consider this in the first member as 1 over alpha minus beta with exponent lambda, we have exactly that u is in the Morley class and p lambda. Indeed, we have this quantity here from immediately from the first inequality in, in the previous page. This exactly means that u is in the more class and p lambda. So we have obtained a characterization of the more class. This is true in dimension one. So uh, a first uh, um, input that I like to give to the class is to try if a characterization like this could be true in dimension more than one. Okay, so I think that we can stop here and we will continue later. Okay, so thanks again. Okay, thank you very much. Can we, uh, have any questions? Uh, yes? Uh, so does, for example, this, this property does that the distance uh, with an infinity function is always positive, meaning that uh, the most infinity functions with complex spot are not dense? Yes. They're not dense. Not dense. And this is a different and a problem if you mm -hmm. think in the more class. The convergence in the is not uh, insured. Yes, it is. What about duality? Uh, the viola the more space is okay. Uh, recently there are some results about uh, the duality, but uh, in the course we are not uh, interested at the moment. But um, I show you positive and negative properties because it's uh, is uh, important to know the limit of these spaces. Thank you. Yes. How you can consider a more general function in the actual? You can consider a particular particular sort of general function of the form, but you can consider maybe because you want to show the properties basis of the actual problems. No, it's basic. No problems. Yeah. And you, you put in the condition one, one point one three, like a limited constant Q one based on the solution. One point one the condition A. Yes. No. Yes. One point three. One point three. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's the condition on the set omega. Uh, no, no, it's, uh, it's important that uh, it is not a cuspidal point or uh, that uh, is a constant. This is important. So we exclude that is uh, not very smooth, the, the boundary. But it's not important that the constant is uh, less than one. Part of the question was that if a set of rotors rot to the power n, in fact, you can put a, a more general weight satisfying some conditions. So we 
if we put here n some width uh, and that's a function ah yes uh, yes uh, of row, yes there are space. other variants of more type spaces yeah. without uh, these but with other functions i like to start with the history with the yes. beginning but uh, uh, later after when we know perfectly these properties we can put here not only row but a, a function phi for instance that in a particular case could be wrong the generic uh, more type spaces are in this sense also yes yes and then i also should maybe say that here we have some people who work on this in, uh, on, on also in the group setting on homogeneous groups. For example, in homogeneous groups, stratified groups, there are some Gulen. Yes, but, yes. But here we have also more general homogeneous groups. This yes, of spaces and uh, me too spaces. also. I, we have yes. uh, uh, three or four common papers with Gulen. We consider uh, some uh, weight here. In particular case, could be wrong. But the theory is uh, uh, um, an evolution of this uh, uh, structure, yes. So I, I like to start with the beginning of the history to better understand the classical one, and then we can apply easily if uh, rho is a weight, a generic weight, uh, the, the other kind of uh, properties that could be uh, an extension of this. Yes, so, yeah, interesting, I think, uh, yes, now we can make a break. So, the second lecture, Professor Abudu will be, uh, let's say, 15 minutes.